to show you how to make mini darts. So making mini is actually something that's really quite simple, but it's something that's taken me a long time to uh, come around to because for about five years I had a career as a winemaker and when you're a winemaker, making vinegar is your, your worst nightmare. So you spend a lot of you spend a lot of time and effort trying to stop my plan. Over the last few years I've gotten really got into making my own vinegar and red wine vinegar, it just homemade stuff, it just blows out of the water anything that you'll ever buy. So um, so I'm gonna show you how, to, how I do it today. So it's it's pretty simple. So this is my vinegar jar and you know you just need some sort of I prefer glass, but you know, some sort of glass or ceramic container and actually the thing with vinegar is it needs a lot of oxygen to, to make it, so you need air to be able to get in there. So um, the bigger the hole, the better. So for a long time I tried to make vinegar just in a wine bottle and you know, small, small uh, hole at, at the top on purpose so that you don't get too much oxygen in. So that it does make it more challenging, but you could make it in a wine bottle if you like, or just do you know, any sort of glass jar, or any, any jar. So this is my vinegar that I've, I've had going. And so all, all you need to do to, to make vinegar is really just allow the time for, for it to happen because naturally in nature, you know, we're surrounded by all these acetic acid bacteria and that, their job in nature is to eat alcohol and turn it into acetic acid, which is vinegar. So if you leave uh, you know, wine exposed to air for long enough, it'll eventually happen. Uh, but of course, yes, we don't have years and years and years, so there are a few things that you can do to speed up the process. The thing that you, the only thing that you really need to know about um, making vinegar is that most wines contain soft dioxide, which is you know been used for centuries or you know, thousands of years ever since winemaking's been been around to help preserve the wine and actually prevent vinegar from forming. So. Um, the acetic acid as bacteria aren't going to grow when you've got the soft dioxide in the wine, but there's a really easy way over time, um, you know, with oxygen in the in the wine, the soft dioxide gets used up. So if you just leave a bottle sitting open, eventually the soft dioxide will go and uh, the vinegar will, the bacteria will be able to start to grow. Uh, but a way to, the, the way to speed up that process is to actually you know, just get some air in there. So one way, you know, I've got a half empty bottle here, you can just pop the lid on and have a good shake. So, um, and that, that, that's really you know, a, a great thing to do. So I've, and it's actually one thing I should mention is um, making vinegar is awesome if you love to procrastinate. So this bottle has been sitting around you know, on, the, on the counter half open for you know, a couple of weeks and I haven't got around to putting it into my into my um, vinegar stock and that's been great because during that time the sulfur would have would have uh, you know kind of started to to, to go so I get uh, what I do is I just shake and then another thing that you can do that's really effective for getting lots of oxygen into the into the vinegar is just to pour it from one bottle to another so if you've got a funnel that can be great and I actually have this um it's a wine aerator, um, and that's used for you know kind of improving the flavour of young young wines and kind of aging them from chili. And it actually also works um, really well as well to to aerate the wine. So um, that's something else. If you've got one of these at home, you can use that. But you certainly don't need it. Just pouring you know, through a funnel from one bottle to another. And all I do is I just you know do this a couple of times. Um, so once you've you've, um, you've you've gone through you've, you've aerated it a couple of times, then it's time to, to add it to your, your vinegar stock. And if you're just starting out, of course, you're not going to have anything in this jar. It's going to be completely empty, so that's fine. All you do is you, know, you pour it into your jar. Oops. Keep it covered with something that's going to let the air through, but uh, it's not going to let flies, and vinegar flies in particular come and, um, come and hang out because you don't want fly skanky bits in your, in your vinegar, so I just cover it with a bit of muslin that's going to be a bit, but you know, any sort of cloth would be fine, and a band, and then just put it in a dark place and just leave it for a few months. Come back, um, if you think about it, whenever you think about it, you could, you know, the more air you give it, the quicker the vinegar is going to form, so just, you know, you can come back if you want to just give it a quick whisk, or you can, you know, get out some bottles and pour it around, but, you know, you can just leave it for six months in the back of the pantry. Um, and they just taste it every now and again, and slowly over time you start to taste the vinegar happening. And um, I guess, you know, it's, it's really, sometimes it'll take six months, depending on the temperature as well, where you live, the climate, 
all these things make, make a difference. It might take a couple of months, it might take six months, it might take you 12 months to get to something that you really like. But just, you know, have the patience with it. If it's not going as fast as you'd like, more aeration is going to speed up the process. Um, and the only other thing I'd say is if you, um, if you are starting out from scratch, I didn't do this, I just started, I just had put one in, wine aerated it heaps and put it into this jar in the very beginning. But if you did want to speed it up, if you buy um, you know, some apple cider vinegar that's got the mother in it, it'll say on the label, but you'll be able to see kind of chunky bits in it. That's, um, if you use a little bit of that to kind of kickstart the, the process, that'll um, get the back, you know, gives you kind of inoculates with the, the bacteria. So that can, that can help speed up the process as well. So I hope you enjoyed uh, vinegar making. Uh, if you'd like to <laughs> see some more great recipes, really encourage you to head on over to my blog, which is thestonesoup.com. Thanks for watching.